everybody, welcome back to my channel or if you're new and visiting for the first time, I'd like to say welcome to my channel. My name is Abby. I make lifestyle content, mommy content, I dabble in home decor and fashion as well and I've really been passionate about turning my home into a toxin free haven so you'll be seeing all kinds of DIYs and tips and stuff that I'm learning on that topic as well all on this channel. So if you're interested in that kind of content, I do hope you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button. So this video is going to be my most extensive, probably longest clean with me video I've ever done. I'm going to be taking you all over the house and showing you my favorite natural cleaning products and tips and tricks. So before we get started, just wanted to add a little disclaimer in that we are in the process of updating this house. This house was made in the 80s. So there are a couple of minor repairs and some cosmetic things that we want to change so you'll probably see some interesting paint colors and some wallpaper as we're doing this clean with me all right so I'm gonna put my hair up and we're gonna go ahead and get started so before I start cleaning I'm going to be putting some essential oils in my nebulizer so fun to say um, eucalyptus tangerine and orange is such a great combo that's energizing and gets me in the mood to clean so I'd like to thank my sponsor, Odor Cleanse, for sponsoring this video. I've worked with them before. They're a fantastic company that's non-toxic, um, odor eliminizing products, and I'm really excited to share with you some of my favorite products that I use throughout my house in this video. So in case you're wondering, yes, I am pregnant. I just entered into my third trimester, and it was actually my first pregnancy with my now toddler that got me on the journey of toxin-free living and especially toxin-free cleaning. So the laundry room is one of those areas I mentioned that I haven't really done much well, not really anything in here as far as updating the space. So we're thinking about paint colors. I'm thinking of something like a sea salt, but maybe a little bit lighter. It's, there's one step up called floor to cell, which is really, really pretty. So we may do something like that. While we're in the laundry room, I want to show you my favorite laundry products, what I'm using right now. The first is this Mrs. Meyers laundry detergent. Smells amazing, like all Mrs. Meyers stuff. Also this spot cleaner stain remover but most of the time honestly I just use dish soap because a lot of my stains are grease related and dish soap works really well for that this is a great um, non toxic formula for a bleach alternative by seventh generation so when I have young babies in the house I love these crystal wash balls they actually clean your clothes without any chemicals or detergents you throw it into your washing machine and it does something to the water that cleans your clothes. So you don't have to have all the family's clothes smelling like draft or doing separate loads of laundry just for your little baby. So these are awesome and I'll have those linked below along with everything pretty much that I'm talking about. Dryer balls are wonderful if you haven't heard them already. They fluff up your clothes, help it to dry faster. You can add essential oils to these. These are made out of wool. I have a great deal that I found online that I'm gonna link to below by Simply Earth. That's the best price that I've seen on those. So consider this an official before video of this space if we ever get around to making it over. Got a lot of ideas of what I wanna do. If you have any ideas for me, let me know. So this coffee bar has become something of a hot spot. I'm always decluttering the space it feels like because it just collects things. It's right by the door. It's so easy to drop things there. Clearly, I need to reorganize these cabinets. That will be a weekend project. I've started to do organization on Saturdays. Ben is available then to keep up with Sophia a little bit more. And so, um, yeah, it's been really good. It feels great, like on a Saturday, you know, just to have a good breakfast, late breakfast, and then do some organizing projects that I had in mind to do for that week. So I'm really loving these fall scented uh, Mrs. Meyer set for hand soap, for dishes, and for countertops. I've got the apple cider, which is my favorite. There's also a mum scent 
out and a pumpkin scent out. I've not tried either of those, but this one smells so good and I feel like it can go, you know, all the way throughout the holiday season, not just at the start of fall. So here I'm showing you how I clean my sink and I have shared this tip before in a video I did several weeks back. So anyway, you're going to start with baking soda, which is a great abrasion. You're going to shake it all over your sink and I like to keep mine in a shaker bottle such as like you would use for hot pepper flakes. And then I'm going to be using my deodorizing liquid from Odor Cleanse. This is really great because I have a terrible habit of not actually turning on the disposal as much as I should because it's really loud and annoying and baby sleeping especially so I'll forget to do it and it just gets really smelly in there because of that so this is awesome I can have that in sitting in the disposal while I use coconut oil on a paper towel to buff in that baking soda and really get my sink all clean after I do the deodorizing I then like to go in with some citrus fruit to give it a fresh scent because I've just removed all scents now I'm adding a fresh scent in and this is like a dynamic duo for making the sink super fresh smelling great and so you can see how well that coconut oil and that baking soda worked to get the sink very clean i used to use barkeeper's friend and that was just really harsh chemical it worked well but i could already like smell some fumes and things so so glad to have switched to a more natural method that really does work so i recently did a video on how i clean my fresh produce to remove all the pesticides and keep it really fresh for up to two weeks in this really cool veggie bag i'll have that linked in the cards if you want to check it out Okay, I want to get these grapefruits put in the fridge, but I have to clean out this disgusting drawer. I'm going to be using another Odor Cleanse product that uh, you can use on hard surfaces and also on fabrics in this drawer. As you can see, there was some blood and yucky stuff that just kind of leaked in this drawer. So I'm getting to that. I'm going to spray it, saturate it with this deodorizing liquid. It's a source odor treatment. And I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. And like I said, you can use it on fabrics, but you need an extraction tool to do that. But you can, of course, use it on any hard surfaces that is safe for water. So that's going to sit for a few minutes. And while that's working there, I'm actually going to use this spray again where we keep our trash can, which is in the island. And it gets really kind of funky in here as well. So we're going to sweep this out and I'm going to wipe it out with a neat cloth by Norwex which actually disinfects an area with just water. The microfibers are so tiny that it actually removes all bacteria from the surfaces and then that cloth actually self sanitizes. And we're gonna be saturating this area with this odor cleanse spray and I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes while I clean my trash can. And you don't want to leave this remaining on the surface so now I'm actually going to remove that odor cleanse source treatment and um, it's amazing how fresh it smells in here now after having used that product okay I think this is set long enough and it's really cool how just with a little bit of spraying a lot has already come out after applying the odor cleanse treatment we're also going to give it a good scrub and oh this smells so good and I'm going to add in my produce and put it away So I'm just going to use my Norwex cloth and wipe off and disinfect all of the surfaces. Sometimes I also use the countertop spray that you see back there, the Mrs. Myers, just for the scent, really, because I've already disinfected the area. These Norwex cloths they work really well. However, they don't have much of a scent, so you can use them with essential oils to provide a nice fresh scent. Also, if they get a little funky, which I have to admit they do sometimes, you can soak them in uh, maybe the odor cleanse solution to deodorize them. Of course, you can wash them in the wash. You can wash them with dish soap with your hands in the sink with some really hot water to get them fresh again. So this is another Norwex cloth that I love. It's kind of like an all-purpose cleaner. And then this purple one is a polishing cloth. So this is a dynamic duo, another dynamic duo for cleaning. First, you remove all any kind of grime and bacteria with the all-purpose cloth and then you go back with your polishing cloth and you shine everything up and to, this has been the best I've used spray cleaners on appliances before to make it shine this is absolutely the best for getting it to shine it kind of repels 
like fingerprints and things. I mean, like, I feel like the spray cleaners that you use, it leaves a little bit of a film on the surface and easily smudges and looks messy, you know, just after you've cleaned it. This, to me, works so good for removing all the oils and things and just making it really shine. You can see for yourself how well it shines it up. It's the best. And you can see how much better the kitchen looks with polished appliances. I'm always amazed, you know, it's one of the things I don't think about very much, but after I do it, I can really notice a difference. When I first walk in, that first impression in the kitchen is so nice when you have everything just kind of shined, all the stainless steel appliances. And then I'm using my Norwex dust mitt. This works so good for all kinds of dusting. It's the best tool that I've used. I've used all different kinds of tools. Definitely the best. So in here in the living space, I don't have a lot to do except mainly to pick up. I will be vacuuming and sweeping and mopping in my evening tidy up routine. So we're basically just putting some things back where they need to go. But while we're in the living space, I want to share with you another favorite Odor Cleanse product of mine. And it goes along with something that happened earlier this week. My toddler, uh, something didn't quite sit well in her tummy and so it ended up on the floor. So these crystals, these granules that absorb odors and liquids really is a lifesaver for messes like that, especially also if you have pets. So young children and pets, this is so good to have on him. And this is how it works basically. You have a spill, a mess on the floor, could be anything. You're going to shake these granules over that mess and it turns it into a deodorized powder which you can then vacuum or sweep up and then mop up after just to remove any residue. And this is so great especially for me right now. It's a little bit getting harder to get down on the ground and plus the odors I'm really sensitive to so it's so great to just deodorize it, turn it into an easy to clean up powder and be done with it. So here we are moving into the dining room. I don't have a whole lot to do in here except for just wiping and dusting. Um, like a lot of modern families, this room does not get a lot of use except for a couple times a year. So we're just going to freshen it up. And I do like this mop by Libman. I like that you can add your own natural cleaning solution that you can make at home. And it also has a removable pad that you can wash and reuse. So with that, I feel like it's very cost effective as well. Okay, we're gonna finish today's cleaning in the bathroom. I'm using a Method Daily Shower Spray. This actually is meant to be sprayed just after your shower um, to help keep it clean where you don't really have to do a lot of scrubbing and things. But I feel like the shower needs some scrubbing today. So I'm gonna be using my full circle scrub brush to do that and we're going to get into all of these crevices and we're also going to scrub the tub really well and just freshen it up and I really like this mint and eucalyptus scent combination I think it's just super fresh and makes it smell very clean in here I picked up this scrubber brush. It's something like a TJ Maxx. I really like the design and how concealed that it is. So I'm gonna be using a Method Toilet Cleaner. This also has a nice fresh scent. And then I'll be using Mrs. Meyers All Purpose Cleaner in the Lemon Verbena scent. I have my Norwex cloths handy again, and we're gonna be cleaning up this sink area. I mentioned how well these cloths work for stainless steel appliances. They also work wonders on mirrors and pretty much any surface that you would want to polish. So my next favorite product is actually a recommendation from a viewer, and I'm so thankful she told me about this. It's a scouring stick, and it's something that you can use that's all natural, that removes rust stains, and really hard to remove stains from all kinds of surfaces like your bathtub, tile, sinks, things like that. So you can see it took that rust stain right out whereas a regular cleaner, it did nothing for that stain. So this is fantastic to have on hand, especially if you're in a little bit of an older home. 
Okay, we are finishing up this space. I'm gonna put in some fresh towels and change out the trash. And I'm also gonna be using these granules that I used before to clean up that spill. I'm just gonna put it in the bottom of this trash can. My daughter, Sophia, takes her bath in here, so diapers end up in that trash can and it gets really quite smelly. So those granules will really help to eliminate those odors. Well friends, thank you so much for joining me in cleaning my home today. You're going to find a detailed list of all of my favorite cleaning supplies listed below. Um, I've kind of organized them by areas and they're kind of my cleaning kits, if you will. And don't forget to check out that coupon code that I have for you from Odor Cleanse. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.